Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about a video that a lot of you guys have requested since you guys know what has kind of been up in my life lately. And I think it's important to talk about because we are friends here and it's like, you know, girl to girl, let's talk about it. And I'm talking about breakups. Um, they suck and they aren't fun. But I'm guessing if you guys clicked on this video, you're either a loyal subscriber and just want to watch a video of mine or you are going through a breakup right now and I know how much that sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna be talking about how to get over a breakup or helping you get over a breakup, how to move on from a breakup, how to kind of have a different outlook on a breakup. So I have been in two serious relationships. I've had a total of three boyfriends my whole life, but my first boyfriend was like, we dated for like a month and I broke up with him on FaceTime and that, that was it. Like the last time I saw him was literally like a month ago in Qdoba. So, that was like it. He wasn't very significant. He was just like a first boyfriend type of thing. But my last two boyfriends, I'm gonna count as like my first and second boyfriend. And I've had very different breakups with both of them. My first boyfriend, um, we broke up because it was long distance and we were talking for like a year and then we dated for like a month and then we broke up. I broke up with him, but I didn't really want to, but I knew that I had to. And he was sort of like, yeah, okay, it's probably a good idea. So it was more mutual between the two of us. And um, after we broke up, we still like talked. We weren't talking, but we talked for like a year after we broke up, like 10 months. I don't know, it wasn't healthy to do that. And then my last breakup was with Matt, who you guys pretty much all know. And that one really took a toll on me because I really thought him and I were going to, like honestly, I thought we were gonna get married. And then one day our relationship just sort of checked out like it was just sort of done in one day and we tried to save it and fix it for like two three months after that him and I broke up because we just grew apart we had different goals um, I wanted to work and just focus on my career and he wanted to live up college so we just had two very different lifestyles going on and they just drifted apart and didn't work you know once we broke up I found out other things that really made me want to finalize the breakup for sure. Yeah, so I know I'm going to get questions as to why Matt and I broke up. That's why. So the first thing that I just want to say is breakups suck. Like, they suck so much. Because you think you're going to have this great life or this great time with someone, and you are. Like, they're your other half. They're your love. You do everything with them. You confide in them. Like, they're half of you. Yeah, breakups are just weird. And... You're just expected to throw all of that away and just cut them out of your life. And it's very weird. So yeah, of course they're going to be hard because they're not there anymore. They were there one day and now the next day they're gone. And you have these amazing memories and times and pictures and so much to remind you of a person. And then just to have it be gone and go away like it was nothing is extremely difficult and hard. So yeah, breakups absolutely suck. But you can get over them and I know that I can get over mine because I got over my first boyfriend who I swore I would never get over. Even though right now if you think I will never get over him, you will. So let me get into my tips after that long intro of how to get over a breakup. I'm currently still going through mine so I'm doing all of this stuff right now. My first tip of advice is to block them and I know this sounds harsh and it could put in your mind it could burn a bridge but if you explain to your ex, hey, look, I need to block you because I want to move on and I need to do this. Um, you are now single. You don't have to ask for their approval for anything. You can do whatever you want. Take the time to be selfish and do what's best for you and block them. If you see their pictures, their tweets, their Snapchat stories, their phone number, like, how are you supposed to get over that? Um, with my first boyfriend, I didn't block him for about eight months until we broke up and that was such a mistake. And the time that I took to block him, I, he was blocked for about a month on everything and it was really hard for me because I wanted to talk to him, I wanted to see what he was doing, I wanted to look at his stuff and I wanted to reach out to him. But when I felt like I was ready, I unblocked him and that solely is what helped me move on and get over him. So block them. I know it sounds tough, but you have to do it at some point and it really helps you. It, keep your Instagram public, girl. Like let him creep on you. Let him see how good you are doing without him 
but you don't need to see his stuff. He's just a negative energy in your life, a negative person in your life, and you guys broke up for a reason. You don't need to be seeing his stuff. This is something that I tell all of my friends. Every time they're like, oh, him and I broke up, like I'm really sad over my ex, whatever it might be, I always say this advice, and I think it really helps. Cry it out. Literally, go in a corner and just bawl your eyes out. It helps so much much you have so much sadness and emotion running through your body during a breakup remember this is a person that meant so much to you that you're now cutting out of your life i would be concerned if you aren't sad like i really would be so it's so normal to be sad and to want to cry over him and i know everyone always says like don't cry over a boy he's not worth it you're not crying over a boy you're crying over losing someone significant in your life so cry let all of your emotions out you have to feel the sadness and you have to cry it out and you have to let the emotion just take over your body and you have to let it take its course because I've had so many friends that just sort of skip the whole sad phase and they just like try and push it aside and be like I'm not sad over it, I'm not sad over it you know for four months they're doing fantastic and then after that they're like I miss my ex I can't stop thinking about him because they never let themselves be sad over him it's going to suck it's going to feel like your world is crumbling down and it's gonna feel like it's not worth it. Not not like living. It's gonna feel like any relationship is not worth it ever because the feeling that you feel in that moment is so horrible and alone and sad that you just don't want to ever experience it again. But you just need to let that out. You have to let it take its course and just cry about it. To go along with that, I, I always, I'm a talker, so I like to talk out my problems. Even if I can't talk through them and like I cry the entire time I'm talking about it, it helps me a lot. Um, I talk to more people than I should about my problems. I admit it. Like I talk to a few people that I know probably don't really care about them. Um, but I just have to talk it out. I would say keep it to like your closest friends, but don't tell a lot of people because then a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you know, how's this going? Like, how is he? How are you? And then you just have to keep reliving your breakup and you just have to keep talking about it. And yeah, talking about it helps, but if you're trying to move past it and you're just being brought back to it, you don't want to hear about it. I know a lot of people always say, you know, distract yourself from a breakup. I agree that you should distract yourself, but I think you should let your emotions come out first and then you distract yourself. So once you've had your cry, you know, this phase can last a day, an hour, a week, however long, then you can distract yourself. Uh, I distract myself by working, uh, spinning. I love working out. working out. Working out helps me so much with emotions because you leave with endorphins, you feel happier, you feel better, and um, I just feel a lot better after I work out. So I like to work out, I like to hang out with my friends, I like to go to my friends' colleges, and I like to go out, I go to lunch with my mom, I go shopping. Sometimes it sucks when you do something that you used to do with them, like I used to go to the mall all the time with Matt, and it sort of sucks going alone, but then I make memories with myself. Like I've truly become single. Like I do everything by myself now and it's really great and I love doing it. This is one that I, it, it could be very hard for a lot of people, but once you grasp it, it really helps you. You are in control of your emotions, of your mind, of your body, of everything. You have complete control over how you allow a situation to affect you. If you choose to be sad over a breakup, you will be sad about a breakup. If you choose to be happy about a breakup, you will be happy that it happened. You have to choose how you want to react to the situation. Do not be a victim to your breakup. Don't let your breakup control your life. A breakup should be a time that you are able to do what you want and be lifted and be single and be selfish. And being selfish is good and it's okay. I don't know why it has such a negative connotation, but it's okay to be selfish and to do things for yourself. Choosing to react to the situation how you want is super important with a breakup. Um, I chose to be sad for the first few days, let my emotions out. I chose to be angry for the first few days. I chose to be strong and move past it because of course I could have just gotten back with him and been like, oh, what you did didn't hurt me. It's okay, I'm fine. Let's just get back in it. No, I chose to be strong and I chose to have a line and not move my line back. I chose to hold my ground and I choose to be happy with my decision and I choose 
to be single. And I choose to not let this relationship and this breakup affect me. And I think it's important to establish how you feel in your breakup. I hope that makes sense, but you just realize that you are in control of your emotions. And if you see a picture of him and your heart drops, choose to look at that picture again. Go back and look at it again and say, you know what? I'm not gonna be affected by this picture. I'm gonna see my ex and I'm gonna be fine. And then you're gonna look at it again and you realize that you are fine. You don't have to look at them and have your heart drop and you don't have to look at them and feel sad because that's what you're supposed to do. You can choose how you wanna to react to seeing a picture of them. If you wanna laugh, you can laugh. If you wanna smile, you can smile. If you wanna throw it against the wall, do it. You know, it's you are in control of how you choose to see your ex. This is another really big one. It goes alongside with blocking them. Don't creep on them. Like, really don't do it. And also, don't let your friends tell you anything about them. Um, I know this can sort of sound like a little contradicting with my whole like, let it out, like let your emotions cry out, you know, like move, whatever, it'll help you move past it. But just having them be brought up, it's just, it's not going to help you. You know, like whenever one of my friends texts me like, oh my God, guess what? I'm like, what? Unless it's about Matt, like don't tell me. Because I, I don't want to know, you know? Not, it's not that I don't care. It's just, it's not my business anymore. It's not to be mean. It's not to um, hate him. It's just, it's not my business anymore. And I'm trying to move past it. And I don't want to keep being reminded of what he's doing. Because I'm sure he's not worried about what I'm doing. So I shouldn't be worried about what he's doing. So don't creep on them. Don't go look at their pictures. Don't look at their tweets. Nothing. Because that isn't going to help you at all. How could that help you? It's not going to. I'm friends with a few people that, you know, we had mutual friends with and I deleted them on, on off Snapchat and on Instagram. I just, again, not to be mean, I just don't want to see them. I'm being selfish and I don't want to see them because I don't want to see the chance of seeing him. It's not me being like, oh, I don't like you as a friend anymore. It's just me living my life and getting over my breakup. And that's nothing to be ashamed of. It's nothing to apologize for. I'll add them back when I'm ready, but right now I just, I don't care to see it. Um, deleting pictures, I, I don't really know because it helps me, but it's, it's personal. It depends on your relationship. I deleted our pictures on Instagram. I wasn't going to, and then he deleted all of ours and I was like, okay, whatever. I kept mine up for like a little bit longer and then I was just like, you know what? I just don't want these on my Instagram anymore. He's not my life and he's not a part of what my Instagram represents, so I deleted them. And then I was with all my friends and I was just sort of like being built up by the courage. So I just deleted all of our pictures on my phone too. And um, yeah, it feels good. I feel like I have a fresh start on my phone. Deleting pictures is up to you. I think it helps you move on. Um, but if you're very like okay with this person, it you might want to keep those memories. It just depends. The last thing that I want to say is don't be friends with your ex until later on. You know, it's very hard to be friends with your ex to begin with um, because they're your ex. Like you were in love with them. So how are you supposed to be friends with someone that you were in love with? It's very difficult. I don't want to say I'm friends with my first boyfriend, but I would say like um, I talked to him the other night and it was totally fine. Like, I had no feelings towards him. I had nothing. He told me about his girlfriend. He told me about his life. And I told him what was going on in mine. And I talked to him about whatever I felt like. And it was just great. It was like two friends catching up. And, you know, I said, you know, this is great catching up. Talk to you in like a year whenever we talk again. He said, yeah, I'll talk to you in a year. And there hasn't been, I haven't wanted to reach out to him since or anything. I wouldn't call us friends, but if I saw him at like Wawa, I would be like, hey, like, how are you? Probably give him a little hug, be like, what's going on? Like, how are you? What's new? And I want to be on that level with all of my exes, but it took me, him and I broke up two years ago. So it took me two years to get to that point of where I can just go up and like hug him and talk to him about his girlfriend and be like, how are you? How is she? Like, when's the wedding? Am I coming? Stuff like that. You know what I mean? But I think it's a good, it's a good place to be at with your ex. Um, but don't break up and be like, oh, I want to be friends. No, no. You can be friends in two years or five years, 10 years. You can be friends when you're over them. Okay. You don't need to be their friend immediately. The very, I know I said the last thing was the last thing, but this is the very last thing because I want to touch on it. I know a lot of people say the best way to get over someone is to get under someone else. And I don't agree with that. The reason why I don't think that's the best tactic 
is because it can just remind you more of your ex. And it could also just burn bridges with your ex because if you just broke up with your ex and she or he finds out that you have been hooking up with someone immediately after you guys broke up, that does not look good. It just burns bridges. It absolutely burns bridges. And it just makes you never want to be with them again. To me, just nothing good can come out of that. Just wait, be respectful, take your time, just be single. Like you don't need to be macking on someone else immediately after you guys break up. It doesn't always help. I mean, everyone copes differently. I know that everyone does their own thing. So yeah, everyone copes differently with the breakup. Um, it's up to you how you want to deal with it. But yeah, I hope this helped you guys a little bit. Just a little advice, girl to girl. Breakups suck. Just know I'm here for you guys and you guys have been here for me. So yeah, I love you guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was kind of hard for me to film, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got something out of it. I hope it helped you a little bit. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.